I see his little foot and his tail wagging. That's because he's dreaming. <laughs> no money. What? happens next. Hey, I'm Kristen Thompson, founder of SpeakServeGrow.com, creator of Command Any Room, Event Profit Machine, and the Rise Live events. This month, we're talking about how to rock out your event profits. There are lots of different ways to make money by either hosting your own event or workshop or speaking and sponsoring at somebody else's. That's what I want to focus on today. The sponsorship model has taken off like wildfire. And that's great, and it's also a little bit scary because before you invest your hard-earned money and time speaking and sponsoring at somebody else's event, there's definitely some things you wanna know ahead of time. Speaking at somebody else's event can give you authority, just like hosting your own event can, especially if the person whose event it is has authority. You are now aligning yourself with that leader. It automatically raises you up as well. It also gives you lots of visibility to your host's audience, which is likely a group of people that would be completely new to you. And that's good for business. One of my favorite reasons to speak and sponsor at somebody else's event is they're doing the heavy lifting for you. So you don't have to fill that room. They fill the room and boom, you just pop out in front of it. <laughs> I was gonna say like Marilyn Monroe out of a birthday cake, but I don't think that actually happened. <laughs> I made that up. But yeah, you just kind of pop out in front of the audience and you get the benefit of all of your host hard work filling that room. Make sense? Oftentimes when you speak and sponsor at someone else's event, you get in front of a bigger audience. I know that was one of my goals when I first started sponsoring was to get A, outside of Portland and start getting national exposure. And I was able to get in front of big rooms with you know 700 or 1,000 people that I could not have filled on my own. So getting in front of bigger audiences and also wider audiences from maybe across the nation or across the world is also a great benefit. And lastly, of course, you can make sales. Now there's a lot of ins and outs to how you sell in a sponsorship situation, depending upon sort of the rules and the protocol that your host was asking, asking you to follow. We'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment, but it is an opportunity to make money and boost sales and generate a lot of leads and contacts as well. Here are some of the things you wanna watch out for when sponsoring someone else's event. Number one, there's a higher level of risk in some ways when you speak and sponsor at someone else's event because they have control over the event. It's their venue, it's their schedule, it's their vibe, it's all their event. So you lose a lot of the control that you have when it's your event. And because you don't have control over the event, you want to be aware of distractions, anything that could pull people away from you making sales. You know, every event is designed differently. So when you sponsor, there's a couple of things you want to make sure are happening so that you make the most out of your investment. What are these distractions you speak of, Kristen? I'm so glad you asked. Um, there can be many. <laughs> so a couple of things, we go into a lot of detail in Event Profit Machine on this, but let me boil it down to the most important things that you wanna think about. What happens immediately following your talk? If you speak, let's say um, you speak at somebody's event, you have an hour to talk. At the end of that hour, one of the things you wanna know is what happens next? What happens next either makes you more money or uh, no money. So is there a parade that happens next? <laughs> is there a dance party that happens next? Is it a lunch break and that lunch is being served right in front of your booth and you're gonna get to mingle with people and sell to them? Either the thing that happens next is that you're able to drive people to your booth or you're able to hang out in the room and there's a break and you can connect and answer questions and close sales or something else could be happening. They could be saying, uh, hurry up, you only have one minute to get into the main room. And now they're shoving everybody out of the breakout room into the main room and pff, all of your people are gone, poof. And what we know for sure, it does not mean, by the way, that you couldn't recapture some sales. And I definitely have strategies that I share with my clients so that it can still be profitable. But you need to know that that's what's gonna happen beforehand so that you have the right profit strategy for that event. Does that make sense? I sure hope so. By the way, Rocky is... <laughs> having a nightmare <laughs> in the background. So if you hear groaning and you see, wait, he's over there, see his little foot and his tail wagging, that's because he's dreaming. 
You need to know if you have the ability to make a direct offer in the room or if you can't. Again, this changes our strategy. Um, you want to know where your booth is located. If you have a booth, which generally you will, if you're a sponsor, you're going to have time to speak and you're going to have a booth that you get to set up so you can connect with people. Where is that booth in relationship to where you will be speaking? Where is that booth in relationship to the main speaking area? If you're in a breakout room, that's different than speaking on the main stage. So you want to know where your booth is in relationship to where you speak and where the main event is happening. These are all things that either support you making more money or make it harder for people to connect with you. These are just a few tips to give you a quick jump start on how you could start making money speaking and sponsoring at somebody else's event. Remember, you're going to get a lot of authority, a lot of visibility, and the benefit of getting up in front of somebody else's audience. They did the heavy lifting. You come in, you're going to give a great rock and talk. You're going to offer your entry level product or program, and you're going to make sure you have the right strategy and the right path so that you can drive people to your booth, to your order forms, so you can close them right then and there. Until we meet again, I'm Kristen Thompson with SpeakServeGrow.com. Go out there and rock your brand, rock your talk, and rock your biz.